They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together ooky. The Adams Family. Okay, I, I don't sing, and I can't snap my fingers. Um, I, I try, and it just sounds like two cotton balls rubbing together. But I will review the movie, and we'll hear from my niece, Paisley. Dang, I wish I could snap my fingers. No spoilers. Adam's Family started as a comic way back in 1938 in the New Yorker magazine, uh, created by this guy, Charles Adams. This guy definitely modeled Gomez after himself. Uh, and the family has shown up over the years in TV shows, in movies, in cartoons. And now we have this animated movie. Uh, they're most famous for their fascination with creepy things, death, ghosts, and the macabre. 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 Also famous for that song that just sticks in your head like an earworm and just won't get out. So, is it creepy? Is it kooky? Will adults like it? Will kids like it? Did you like it? Let's talk about it. All right, let's start with characters. Gomez. He's the dad. Not that interesting. Most interesting thing is his mustache. And he likes pain and French accents. And uh, Morticia, the mom. Tall, creepy, vampire hotness. Has thousands of spiders hanging out in her dress for some reason. Um, still not as interesting as the kids, uh, but, you know, she has one of the best moments, though, with a vampire bat. I, I like Morticia. I uh, didn't love her. Uncle Fester. I'm mostly there for visual gags. Uh, I thought he'd be annoying because of his voice, this guy, but he was actually really funny, uh, but not in the film that much. Wednesday, the best character in the movie. She's dry, sarcastic, mischievous, smart, inventive. Loved her. Definitely the star of the film. Pugsley, another fun one. Uh, not so bright. Uh, loves explosives. Very destructive. Great facial expressions. And a striped shirt. Lurch. Not that many lines, but boy, he grew on me like a mold. But, uh, but a good mold. Uh, a mold that you love. Ugly and adorable at the same time. And his organ playing was always some great moments. And his musical number. You, you need to see the movie just for the musical number. The character design uh, of the family is based on the original 1938 uh, comic which is so cool. Uh, instead of making it some new interpretation or basing it on the TV show, they stuck with the original. I loved the character design, but I loved it even more knowing they held on to Charles Adams' creepy, warped vision. Okay, and finally, uh, the, the bad guy or villain in the movie, Margot. For me, she's the least interesting part of the movie. I mean, she's a pretty good foil to the family because she's, you know, bright and, and happy and perky. But she is one note through the entire film. Uh, one dimensional. And she's, you know, she's interesting at first, but I grew tired of her. Her motivations were simple and dumbed down. Boo on Margot. But great hair. Kudos on the hair, animators. The story. The Adams family has retreated from the world to a haunted old mansion high up on a hill to get away from torch bearing, quote, normal people. Uh, I can't do, <laughs> I can't do air quotes that well. Okay, we see how the family lives, a tiny little bit of uh, character development. All of this was really interesting. You see the tensions and relationships between the family members. How Pugsley is learning to be a man. How Wednesday is anxious and interested in the outside world. Uh, the creepy quirks of the house. They have a lion for some reason. It's all fun. Then we get to the plot line. 
A uh, home makeover reality TV star creates a, a perfect town in the valley near the Adams family's home. But when she discovers there's an ugly, old, broke-down mansion at the top of the hill, uh, she wants to either make it beautiful or drive the family out of their home and destroy it. Not a terrible plot, especially one for kids to follow, but the further we get into the movie, it grows a little tiresome. But when the family comes down and tries to integrate with the town... Uh, seeing that contrast and how oblivious the Adams family is to how bizarre their behavior is, uh, well, that's classic Adams family fun. Uh, Fester is hilarious. Wednesday gets into some brilliant mischief, uh, just fun all around. Uh, but after that, the movie plods along and gets uninteresting. Uh, you know, the laughs are fewer and far between. Not that interesting in the second half. The animation. Well, the animation is very cool. There were many moments where I felt like I could just reach out and, and touch them. Uh, dimensional, detailed textures. Uh, at times it felt like stop motion animation. You know, it felt a little like Coraline at times, especially in the beginning around the mansion and the Adams family. But the perfect town is less so by design, because it's supposed to be cookie cutter and bright and perfect, you know, fewer flaws. So the initial discovery of the animation and how the camera seemed to move around and would reveal new parts of the world, it was beautiful, you know, in a, in a creepy sort of way. Then later on in the movie, especially toward the end, it just seemed less so. It almost seemed like two different movies, you know, the, the first half the way the animation was, was interesting. And then again, later during the climax, everything just seemed a little bland. And I don't know if that was the actual animation or just because the story got a little bland. Okay, so I'm an adult-ish and this is a kid's movie. So let's hear from a kid, uh, my niece Paisley. When I saw Dad's family, it was really good, really funny. And it had pretty good characters, but it was kind of scary because it was a Halloween movie. But I'm brave. I'm a brave girl. You know, the movie was actually really good. At least the first half of it. The second half felt like it was rushed and went downhill with the character development and storyline. But I think I'll just talk about how it had a big kitty in it. There's also a big kitty and he was big and cute and he was really fluffy and he would chase people. But that was funny and I just want to hug him because he looks so funny and fluffy. My favorite character was really Wednesday. She was a really good character. I could see a lot of like potential in her because she was pretty funny. I really liked her. How kind of dark she was from her dark family but she wanted to kind of step aside from that which I like. I really liked her hair braids because they were nooses which fit her character. Are they nooses or with the plural of noose be niece? I really liked their little cousin it and he was really cute and really cool and really fluffy but he made like a, this big dramatic entrance and then he really didn't do anything. He just kind of walked around just saying a bunch of random stuff but he really didn't do anything. I, I don't know. That's all I have to say. Okay, I love you. Bye. Thanks, Paisley. So there you have it. Straight from a kid with a lot of energy. So I give the first half a movie bam pow score of 82 and the second half of the film a 34. Average that out and you get a 58 out of 100. Not terrible. Could be a fun movie for the kids to see. Maybe it might bore them. Uh, and as an adult, it was okay. That's me. But if you saw it, what did you think? Subscribe, hit like, comment. We want to hear from you. What upcoming movie do you want us to review? And as always, have a good time at the movies and be considerate. Bye.